I am joined by a super exciting 18-year-old prospect in Alexi Pergandi. What is up, man? How's life? Man, life's all right, man. How are you? I'm doing well. Cannot complain. I want to start off with this. I, I obviously do my research before interviews, and I was on your Facebook page, and I saw a video you posted. Uh, it was piano lessons at five, then MMA practice at six. I almost fell out of my seat. I was laughing so hard. Man, yeah. Um, I guess you can say that's like a, a little hidden talent that a lot of people don't really know. Um, I play two instruments, actually, uh, guitar and a little bit of guitar and uh, some piano. You know, I've been taking lessons here or there, but, you know, still the main focus is MMA. I'm not, I'm not no pianist, I'll tell you that. I got you. You know what? It sounded great on the piano. Fun fact about me is about one month ago, I purchased a guitar and I started guitar lessons weekly. I'm doing guitar lessons, but I'm committed to learning that guitar. That's awesome, man. It's always great to learn that instrument, man. Yeah, I for wish sure. I the ladies and stuff. <laughs> ah, 100%, 100%. Walk me through a typical day uh, for you. What does it look like? Um, well, usually I would wake up in the morning. Um, I would probably get like a uh, protein shake in, um, you know, get the day started with that good meal, uh, some oatmeal, um, you know, some, some uh, tea that I have. I have some special Russian tea that uh, my mom specifically got from Russia. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll probably go for like a run, uh, hit the gym, go swimming. Um, any of those three, I would switch it up, uh, you know, keep it fresh. I don't want to like keep, um, you know, I don't want to keep being doing the same thing every day. Cause, you know, it, it gets boring after a little bit. So yeah, it's got to switch things up, you know. Uh, 100%, 100%. It certainly worked out for you thus far. You're undefeated in mixed martial arts competition, but I saw that you have experience in boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, yeah. BJJ. The list goes on. Now, you've obviously found success in all of them, but walk me through your beginnings in combat sports. How did this kind of start? So um, my dad, uh, which is my coach, he's, uh, he's from Russia. He, he was a boxer, and he was his own, like, uh, champion back, back there in Russia. He had over 300 fights or something like that, uh, an amateur. Um, so, yeah, he was a real one. And, um, you know, me and my brother grew up training with each other when we were, like, little, little guys, like six years old. And um, me and my brother would train every day. And um, I started competing at nine years old. That was my first, I think it was Silver Gloves boxing uh, tournament. And uh, I won that one. I got the belt from the very first one. I was nine years old, man. I was so, so happy. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. I also saw a photo of you with all of your medals, all of your uh, trophies. Yeah. Talk to me about some of those accolades. What have been some of your uh, most memorable moments thus far? Although the best is obviously, uh, you know, to come. Right. Um, I've gotten, I was, nationally ranked for boxing i was ranked ninth in the country um i'm currently ranked uh fifth in the world for kickboxing i went overseas to uh, bosnia for uh waco team usa i placed fifth there um you know third at junior olympics i won in 2016 uh the the world championships for boxing um so ringside world championships that is and um you know uh, those are probably some memorable ones yeah. Now, where do you kind of put all these these uh, medals, trophies, belts? Do you have like a specific spot where you put it? Yeah, my dad specifically made like a thirty foot shelf, <laughs> just like just like a whole wall of them is somewhere back there in, in a different room. But uh, yeah, that's, that's where I'll keep them. Man, I got you. Well, not to brag or anything, but uh, you know, I have a one chest trophy, one uh, medal. <laughs> I definitely have a thing for awards. So if you ever run out of space, you ship them to me. I'll take great care of them. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Sounds like a deal. Yeah, uh, deal, deal. Now, when did entering the cage become something that you were interested in doing? Was that kind of always in the plan for you to step in the MMA cage? Well, actually, no. Um, probably that idea only came around when I was, I'd say, 16 years old. Um, you know, I, I wrestled for around 10 years um, for Wilson Central High School. Um, and then I was like, man, like... I boxed for a really long time, you know, I wrestled for a really long time. Um, why not mix it together, you know? And uh, then the, I honestly like 
like the cage is where I feel comfortable. You know, I start feeling that when I, when I step in like a boxing ring, I don't feel as comfortable as I do when I step in the cage. It's just like so much relief and happiness. I just feel like it's my, it's my world, man. What do you attribute that to? Uh, well, I don't know, man. It's just maybe, maybe all this wrestling experience really, really came in handy and maybe I'm, Maybe this is just like what I was meant to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you, you know, it, it certainly sounds like you, like you found your home in mixed martial arts. I think the future is very bright for you. Now, once again, you have extensive experience in boxing and kickboxing. Do you see yourself ever stepping in the pro kickboxing ring uh, in the pro boxing ring, or is kind of MMA your focus right now? For now, it's MMA. Um, I wanted to do boxing for a, a really long time because I've had, you know, 88 amateur boxing matches. Um, <laughs> So I was like, man, maybe I should go pro boxing or something like that. But I was like, man, I just don't feel comfortable in this ring, you know? And I really found really found home, you know? Good, good. Well, 2019 was certainly a year 3-0, and all submission victories. Obviously, you have that wrestling background. But with all that striking yeah. experience, I was kind of surprised when I saw all those submission victories, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's a, I feel like a lot of people are going to get thrown off. Um, when they, like, just come there and look at my record, they're like, oh, man, this guy's just a jiu-jitsu guy. But, you know, I'm only a blue belt in jiu-jitsu. Um, I'm still working on it every day. I'm trying to get better at jiu-jitsu. But um, they didn't know about these hands, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It certainly uh, shows your well-roundedness. You know, your overall comfortability in all facets of mixed martial arts. And I, I, I believe I watched one of your fights, I think, was on YouTube. And I watched your first fight. Your striking looked absolutely phenomenal in that fight. Then, obviously, once, once he was pretty much done, you got to the ground, got him in that rear naked choke. For, for an yeah. amateur fighter, I, I just see so much potential in you. I, I think you're probably one of the most well-rounded amateur fighters I've, I've uh, interviewed on the show yet. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, of course. Keep up the great work. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Now, I want to talk about your next matchup. Uh, I just saw that announcement uh, announcement a couple days ago. Your opponent is Mad Mike Wilson, who I had on the show. He was one of my first for the Spotlight Series. That will be a BFC 71 for the featherweight title. Obviously, you have so many belts, trophies, all that good stuff. But how does it feel to be fighting for this amateur title so quickly within your mixed martial arts career? Man, it honestly feels good. Um... I, I could have challenged for, for the belt, I think, my second fight. Um, I could have challenged for the, for the Valor belt, but I decided not to and decided to take my time. I was like, man, I want to get one or, one or two more fights in, and that's what I did. Um, get a little bit more experience before I go for that title fight, and, um, man, here it is. Here's the time. It's time to shine. Yeah, obviously, as you know about me, I am huge in amateur mixed martial arts. So when I saw this matchup, this is something I'm incredibly excited for. I'd say Mike Wilson is obviously a huge step up in competition for you just because of his experience. Now, when you look stylistically at the games here, obviously, you're very well rounded. Mike is kind of like a zombie. He keeps coming. He has good striking. He definitely doesn't mind staying up, but his grappling is really good. So how do you kind of approach this fight? Because it's, it's, an, it's an interesting matchup stylistically. Yeah, right. Um... I mean, he's I, he's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. I saw that. Um, obviously, he's gonna be good than ground. Um, but I feel like I feel like my wrestling could probably over, overcome. You know that. And I've been, you know, I've been in the gym. Team Sean Hammonds. Um, we've had, you know, we have some of the top jiu-jitsu guys in there. You know, and um, I've been going at it with purple belts, brown belts, blue belts, everyone, man. So I'm, I'm I really feel like I can um, I could definitely handle his jiu-jitsu. And uh, man, I'm just looking for a great fight. Yeah. I am too. I am too for sure. Now, where do you believe a win will put you? Once again, Mike Wilson definitely has some experience and, and his name carries. So where do you believe a win will put you? Uh, and looking at 2020, the rest of 2020, what are those goals for you? So um, I'll probably, uh, this fight would probably mean a lot um, if a win. Um, you know, for my record, that would be great. Um, capturing the belt would be great. Um, after that, I'll probably be looking forward to um, looking for some of the top prospects in MMA and going around, traveling around and trying to find those best guys and, um, you know, get that experience before I go pro in 2021. Yeah, that is what it is all about. Now, I have to ask you, after you get a W, this could be in any sport that you competed in, but especially mixed martial arts, how do you celebrate the win? Because I watched after one of your fights, you did a backflip, but uh, how do you celebrate after your, your uh, fights? Um, usually I've never celebrated like pretty hard. Um, I like to be calm after my wins, but uh, these past three MMA fights, man, they got me hype. I've been doing backflips all three fights, man. 
<laughs> so it's like my it's like my uh, little little thing that I do after every win now. So. Yeah, I talked about this in my last interview, but uh, I when I was younger uh, during the summertime, uh, my parents they they sent me to this gymnastics camp, and you know it was pretty fun. Obviously, I have no athletic ability whatsoever. Like I just walked up the stairs, I'm still out of breath. Like 30 minutes later, <laughs> but anyway, they used to they teach like the back handsprings, uh, the the front flips, all the cartwheels, handstands. Right. My hand my uh, handstand cartwheels look absolutely horrific, but at least I could somewhat pull those off. Now my back flip, I'm gonna tell you about that one. Do you know what a, a half back flip is? I can guess it's where you fall on your head. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, yes, I know. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I work so hard day in, day out on those back flips. You know, obviously I start with the backwards roll and those are always painful, but eventually I, I'm like, I, I think I'm ready for this back flip. And of course the half back flip was all I mastered. I have a few concussions from that too, a couple stitches as well. <laughs> yeah, I've been, uh, it took me a while to get the back flip down. Honestly, it took me like two years, I think. Um, I would have like a, I would set up like a little mattress at home and I would just like do like to the side, like on my arms and, and, you know, eventually I got it. So it just takes practice, like everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? The thing is you are so good at, you know, kickboxing, boxing, all these different sports. You're obviously in great shape, great, great athletics. Would you ever consider American Ninja Warrior? I, for some reason feel like you'd be pretty good on that show. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Um, honestly, I think I could probably get, it's probably halfway through, I guess. I don't think I could get all the way through. Hey, not Just with that honest. attitude. <laughs> probably not, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Alexi. Well, I cannot wait to chat with you again soon. I'm going to leave the floor to you. Anyone you'd like to thank, how can people find you on Instagram, your Facebook fan page? How can they find that as well? Um, my Instagram is Russian uh, DNA underscore MMA. Um, you can find me on there. You can go ahead, follow me, uh, look through my stuff. Um, my Facebook is Alex A. Pergandi. You can go ahead and follow that. Um, I'm trying to stay active and posting stuff on there to keep you guys informed about all my fights coming up, how I do, you know, uh, sometimes a little bit training clips here and there. Um, you know, shout out to to, uh, to my team, uh, training camp in Nashville, um, team Sean Hammonds for the jiu-jitsu man, uh, you know, my striking coach, Lance Patrick, my dad, man, just just a bunch of bunch of killers in one gym. <laughs>